Hello, my friends. Story time with Mrs. Beth again. I love this story. It's kind of cool. Something absolutely enormous. Enormous means huge, massive. So let's read it together. Sally loved knitting. Every birthday and every Christmas, she asked for wool. Balls and balls of it. Red, blue, green, yellow, purple, pink, white, and black. Her bedroom was piled to the ceiling with wool. Wool up the walls, wool under the bed, wool on the bed. She knitted scarves, gloves, booties for the baby. She knitted a jacket for the dog, a cap for the bird, and a football jumper for the cat, and a pair of pink and purple socks for herself. Now, said Sally, now I'm going to knit something really big, something absolutely enormous. Click went the needles. She knitted one square, two squares, 500 squares, 1,000 squares. The thing she knitted grew so big that it covered her bed. It wandered up the passage, curled up the bath, crept into Grandma's room. It spread into Brother Peter's room and then into her mother's and father's room. My, this is warm and snuggly, said her family. It's the best thing you've ever made. Sally kept on knitting. I've got to knit, she said. I've got to knit, 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 knit. And knit she did. The thing grew so big that it burst out of the windows, got stuck up the chimney, pushed open the door, snaked up the pavement, and wrapped itself around a telephone pole. Enough, cried her mother. Everything is wild and wooly. Stop knitting, Sally. Please stop knitting. But Sally couldn't. I've got to knit, she said. I've got to knit, 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 knit. And knit she did. The thing snarled up the traffic, got caught in the church steeple, and sank in the public swimming pool. Sally kept on knitting. She was so busy knitting that she didn't even look up when the circus came to town. She didn't even watch the men putting up the big top. Click went the needles. Knit, knit, knit. She was so busy knitting that she didn't see the big top catch on fire. She didn't even hear the fire engine screaming up the street. She didn't know that the circus tent burnt right to the ground. Sally was almost finished. Third last ball of wool, second last ball, last ball. She put down her knitting needles and tied a big knot in the thing. And then she smiled, a great big happy smile. Thank goodness it's done, said her mother. But what are we going to do with this thing that is smothering the town? I don't know, said Sally. But just then a little boy piped up. I know, we can take it to the circus. It can be the new Big Top. Everybody helped. They unwrapped the thing from the telephone pole, unhooked it from the church steeple, rescued it from the swimming pool, and jumped on it to squeeze out the water. Then they rolled it up. It was as fat as a barrel and so long that it stretched around three corners and right up Main Street. Everybody except Sally carried it to the circus. It made the biggest and finest tent anyone had ever seen. Come to the circus, Sally, called her friends. Come and see the clowns and the bears and the acrobats and the lady on the flying trapeze. But Sally was too busy. She was in the kitchen baking cakes. 
She was up to her elbows in flour, knee-deep in recipe books, surrounded by pots and pans. She made gingerbread men for the boys next door, pumpkin scones for grandmother, biscuits for brother Peter, a chocolate sponge for afternoon tea, 40 jam tarts, and a rich fruit cake. She licked the bowl and she licked the spoon. Then she gave a funny little smile. Now, she said, now I am going to bake something really big, something absolutely enormous. What a great story. Something absolutely enormous. Sally did make something big. She knitted, 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 and made that big top tent. But at the end of the story, she liked to bake. And then she was going to bake something absolutely enormous. Hmm. I wish there was another story to think about what she was going to bake. I wonder what she'd bake that would be so big. Anyway, my friends, hope you liked the story. See you next time.